but also you need help yeah because a one-page google search is not a law degree oh no and looking something up you might think you have the law on your side but when somebody who is in a position of power throws down with you you're way over your head yeah. and that's just that's the way life works that's the way our society works so it helps to have more people who have been through it who have been there who have actually had legal advice or if you can get really lucky you have an actual attorney in your community that helps a lot um, but learn the local laws arm yourself get your paperwork uh, get your paperwork on you have access to it so that you can show people no you have to do this because of this paper see how it's notarized and be prepared to do it be prepared over to, and over and over and over be prepared to ask for their boss be yes. prepared to ask for it. Escalate it if you have to. Just keep pushing until you get what you need for your family, your polycule. When they won't let you in for visiting hours, be sure that you have that paper in hand. Say, no, this says I'm family. No, you have, you have to back down, not me. Us discussing acceptance and all that today is what we've had to deal with today. And reaching out is a huge aspect of being part of a community. And we might not have all the answers, but maybe we know someone who does. That would be amazing. Or if you'd like to share your experience and, you know, we would love reaching out and having, you know, going over what you've been through. Every polycule is different. Mm -hmm. and Every we poly all situation is different. So many different things you know we've heard stories of people that have had to face really horrible things not totally you know we've never had to face their level of stuff mm -hmm. we are in a situation that is somewhat rare even in the poly community and that we're nesting yeah. like all three of us here are nesting together and we've blended our families right a lot of people have told me that, that oh, they tried that and it worked for x number of time and then it stopped and i can actually see why mm -hmm. because there are challenges that you don't expect and don't have a whole lot of support structure out there yet, yet, yet. Yeah. But the more of us that do it, the more of us that try, the more of us that want that for themselves and they want that family and they want that nest and they want all of the things that go with it. The more of us that do it, the easier it's going to get for all of us. Mm -hmm. The easier it's going to get to go to the school and say, we're a poly family. Oh, because it used to Who be. Who do we need to put on the paperwork? Right. Because it used to be that way. Like, oh, well, we're actually um, Muslim. Mm -hmm. And we're, we ourselves are not, but just as an example. And people would say, oh, well, we don't know what to do with that. What What are your child's needs? What's What's going on with this? I'm not comfortable. I'm so uncomfortable talking to you right now. And all of this stuff. It's not that way anymore. Mm -hmm. The schools know how to deal with it now. The hospitals know how to deal with it now. The, the people in general are starting to understand, okay, I, I get this now. This, and that's where we need to be with a lot of other stuff in this country around the world. What, what we need is to get to the level where it's normalized, where it's no big deal, where this is just a variation of something I've seen before. But it takes you not giving up and not backing down. Sure, take the blows and take a minute to nurse your wounds but then get right back up and do it do it for you do it for you know, this for it's me being poly isn't a choice it's who i am those kids they're my kids mm -hmm. and nobody is going to tell me any different regardless of where and their it blood it pisses or not. me right the hell off when they try to do so otherwise Don't fuck with the kids <laughs> oh that was one of the issues today our uh, uh, Zan and I's blood-related daughter, I guess, biological daughter. They're all you know, biological. Well, <laughs> you're right. <laughs> well, there's not one cyborg amongst us, I, I assure you. <laughs> when my uh, kid by Polly was talking about something that happened at school today, she was like, oh, no, like, they don't mess with mom's kids. <laughs> and so she knew what was going to happen. Mm -hmm. And my story that followed, well, his story and then my story that followed it. Yeah. I'm like, no, they don't mess with my kids. You done pissed off mama bear. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> and she knew, she knew it was coming. She's like, oh no. <laughs> She's like, you can be so sweet, but when you mess with the kids, that's <laughs> you get... I'm like, mm -hmm. I don't play. Don't mess with my kids. Mm-hmm. So I guess in, you know, what everything comes down to it is this community of acceptance out there for you. Reach out to your community if you need help. Reach find out. your tribe. Find your tribe. Yeah. 
societally being accepted starts sometimes very small and you have to be able to lean on and when you have been knocked down you have to have support to be able to bring you back up and it's not a bad thing to no. reach out it is not it, it may be difficult but trust me it's worth it yeah. take the time to be familiar with the law yes take the time to fill out your paperwork yes. and have it on hand do research or ask questions about mm -hmm. what paperwork needs to be filled out there were so many different things and options mm. that we could have done to make things better we didn't know we're kind of stumbling through this sometimes they withhold information not because they're trying to be mean but because they have no idea what you need yeah and, and it's a, a new of, experience for them it's new for them they have no idea they're like the she's not a parent but she is where do we put her what slot does she fit in and that's that's it what slot do you fit in you know and i just think there need to be more slots mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that's the answer yes there just needs to be more slots. There does. That's my philosophical, uh, <laughs> my philosophical our, take on the society. Our closing expect. statement today is: there needs to be more slots. <laughs> Up uh, the slottage. Stay strong. <laughs> yeah. Stay, stay into it. Uh, find your ground mm -hmm. and find and, your allies. Find your community. Find your tribe. Reach out to them. When you know you're right, and when you know you've got the law on your side, escalate. Mm -hmm. don't don't take that that person behind the counter who bless their soul has their holy book behind the counter they are coming from their option and that that's fine that they have that it's fine that they have that faith it's fine that they do their thing they should be able to do their thing they when absolutely should but they can't prevent you from doing your thing mm -hmm. when you're a public representative be it a business be it a school be it a medical facility there are certain expectations and legally binding agreements that you have had to adhere to we get and acknowledgement and acceptance of your public is one of them and the last thing i could tell people is call them out yes yes when somebody is doing this and they have no grounds call them out call them out on facebook call them out uh, in a public arena make call attention to it if they don't want to accept your family and your family is generally out you have a position there where you can make sure that this is easier the next time for the next family that comes along by just saying okay we're going to get lots of attention right on this school right here because they will not let me talk to my kid Okay. When it comes to that, um, I was a PI for, for a bit. Know your state laws when it comes to recording. Mm. Some states are a two-party recording law. In other words, you and the other party have to know that it's being recorded. Most states, on the other hand, are a single-party record state. In other words, that only one person who is part of that conversation has to know it's being recorded, which means if I'm having a conversation with somebody... Only I need to know that it's being recorded, and that's it. Hmm. So just be aware of that and be aware of what state you're in that you're allowed to do that. Now, I know New Hampshire is a two-party state. Right. You actually have to announce that you're recording before you, uh, before you begin. Uh, but Again, no the one state that, laws. Yeah, the one that we're in now uh, is not that way. <laughs> mm -hmm. no. It sounds hard, and again, we are not discouraging you from being poly. We're, we're poly. We're poly this way. And we're still doing it, mm -hmm. and we've... We've taken lump after lump, and Moved we on. still do this because I really don't feel like I have any other option. I don't want any other option. This is us. I mean, it, it is hard sometimes, and that's what we mean by being real, keeping it poly real. Not everything is all hunky-dory, just happiness and sunshine all the time, and that's part of life. We're on a roller coaster together, and the more we can band together and the more we can lean on each other and air out things to be aware of, things to take note, the more we can actually make a difference, make changes, make it easier for those who come after us. That's what we're trying to accomplish with this podcast, mm -hmm. with our families, with our lives, with our tribe, our, our community. tribe, our community. And with you. Yep. With our listeners. You're part of our community. Thank you all so much for being with us here today. I hope that we have given you some inspiration, some fortitude behind this not quite as easy path as what people may think. <laughs> but I hope that you don't give up. 
I hope that you choose to still live and be who you are and love who you love. And I hope that this has given you a little bit of inspiration, at least. A little inspiration to be you, to be who you are, and to be accepted for who you are. All right, guys. Well, thanks, everybody, for listening. And thank you for, you know, this may have been a long one. Yeah, we, we went a little over today. Yeah. I told you we had a frustrating day today. <laughs> thank you yeah. for being our sounding board. I was very passionate about our topic this evening. <laughs> well, thank you. Thank you for listening. Thank you for staying tuned to the end. Again, uh, you can reach us at, at poly underscore saturated on Twitter. <laughs> and remember from all of us at polysaturated. Keeping it polyamorous is... Keeping it poly real. <laughs>